All right, I got to do a quick one today. This, page 43, Rise Up Singing Songbook. The chapter is Faith. The song is Holy Ground. That's in the title already. I should stop saying that. The last song I did was from Faith, too. It was a shaker song. This is not a shaker song. This is by Christopher Beatty. But there's a new verse that I will sing by Ann Patterson. She is one of the editors of this, the Rise Up Singing Songbook. Listen, this is a religious song, a real, a real, real religious song. So, um, if you are not religious, it may make you feel uncomfortable. I don't know. If you are religious, it may make you feel good. But if you're not religious, this is just how, you know, your beliefs can affect your emotions. But they don't have to. I'll give you some unsolicited advice. If you're not religious, and sometimes listening to religious people and religious stuff makes you uncomfortable... You can still feel good and not uncomfortable because you should just empathize. Duh. Am I right? So listen, when teenagers hear songs about married people being married and in love, they can still feel good, right? Even though, eh, they don't know. They might get married and actually hate it. A married guy told me once, a married guy that I met on the streets of Toronto, he said to me on Christmas Day, he said to me, never get married. I don't know if I'm going to take his advice or not, but that's what he said. He was a married guy. And he said, the first, the first 14, he said, I've been married 17 years. I'm, I may have forgotten the number of years, but it was about 17. I've been married for 17 years. The first 12 years or so are heaven. And that was hilarious to me because I was like, really, 12 years? The first 12 years are heaven? That was a really long honeymoon period this guy had. But he's like, yeah, the first 12 years are heaven. After that, it's just money, money, money. Anyway, never get married. That's what he said. Kids may turn out to be like that, but they still hear songs about marriage when they're young and love, and I love this so much, and it's so great, and they feel good because they're empathizing or sympathizing. Either one will probably work. Sympathy's got a bad rap these days. But it's, it's all right. It's better than nothing. I'm really sorry, you're getting an edit. There was just a cut that you probably noticed. Ah, it hurts me more than it hurts you to have to edit. I don't like editing, but I messed up. This is holy ground We're standing on holy ground For the Lord is present And where He is, is holy This is holy ground We're standing on holy ground And so these hands are holy. These are holy hands. She's given us holy hands. God works through these hands. And so these hands are holy. And so these lips are holy. These are holy lips. She's given us holy lips. God works through these lips. And so these lips are holy. It's 
God speaks through these lips. And these are holy times. We're living in holy times. God loves through us, and so these times are Living in holy times, God loves through us, and so these times are holy. I gotta figure out how to edit that, but that's okay. Thank you for listening to my ramblings about a dude that I met on the street in Toronto once. And see you later, tomorrow, probably. Bye for now.